at least two trips to Croke Park in the same year at senior level, that can't be bad. No, it can't be bad, and I suppose uh, it's, it's where you want to play your football. So uh, two games back to back is, 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 has been great. So uh, especially for a lot of the young lads that have, haven't played there, including myself, I've included myself in the young lads section. No, but um, yeah, it's, it's just great. What was it like running onto the pitch? What was it like playing, and what was it like winning? Yeah, well, it, it was a great experience uh, running out onto the field. It was a great cabin support there. And uh, I suppose it, it's where you always picture yourself or imagine yourself when you're playing as a youngster. So it, it definitely uh, it lived up to the expectation. And as you say, winning was uh, was the icing on the cake. And it's, it's great to have had that under our belt going into Sunday. Was it a strange feeling playing against a team like London? Oh, no, I'll tell you, it was a, it was a, very, uh, it was a very tough game, physical game. Um, so we, we were expecting that. And uh, we knew at half time in level, that's... Uh, that's so uh, we, we just tried to, to keep it calm and that's what we did in the second half and thankfully he- held, held them to two points at, uh, in the second half so um, yeah it was definitely nothing out of the ordinary play the field thing out there and of course it was interesting that people like uh, Kevin Downs involved in the backroom team and of course Larkin Mulvey whom you would know playing for London that's right yeah M- Larkin's a he's a he's a big physical player and there's, there's a lot of physical players in, in, in the London team but uh, yeah, Lorcan's a pa- passionate player and he, he gives it all in the field and we're expecting that of Lorcan, but I'm, I'm sure Sunday there'll be no bigger cabin supporter than, than Lorcan himself. Cavan, it seems now, doesn't do panic and you're closing out games, things that maybe Cavan teams didn't do in the past. Yes, I suppose um, our fitness is uh, coming through in the last 10 or 15 minutes in a lot of games and it stood to us again Derry in extra time when we, we really pulled away. So um, I, I suppose... Uh, course there's a lot of strength and conditioning going on under Peter Donnelly and that seems to be working very very well. Oh, it is yeah, P- Peter's working very well with the lads like, and, and we have a lot of the, the work done and it's, it's in the legs but with the, coming in through the back door games every week you're limited to what you can do during the week so we're, we're really you know, taking it easy during the week and trying to keep fresh for, for these games at the weekend. People like Anthony Ford, Joe McCarthy and of course Terry Highland very passionate about cabin football and it's very important that people like that uh, guiding you through all of these games. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, we've an amazing backroom team, and I think that's what's really stood to us so far. And they've come, come in over these bunch of lads and made a lot of big changes very quick. And um, as uh, the London manager said yesterday, you, you'll not miss them guys they're gone, and you'll not appreciate how good they are. But uh, I think a lot of lads really appreciate how, how, how good they are. Kerry will present obviously a completely different challenge for you on Sunday. Yeah, sure. Kerry have a host of uh, household names. And uh, they play, uh, you know, a different style of football than maybe we're used to throughout the championship. We've played a lot of Ulster teams so far, so um, but we're looking forward to that challenge, and uh, it gives us up to, to eight and train towards this week. But it, is it the case that Cavan just take each team as they come, and whether you're a Division Four or top of Division One, you go out, you play your usual game? Oh, definitely. Like we're we we're used to the underdog bill at this stage, and uh, as uh, as you say, we just take every team as it comes, and every game as it comes, and. Uh, be fully focused on that game and that's the way we approach London and that's the way we approach in Kerry as well. You've played in Crow Park once, you're going to be playing in it twice, obviously your aim is to get there a third and possible fourth time. Definitely, definitely and, and as you say just take Kerry as it comes and uh, aim for another day out in Crow Park. Well Damien we wish you well. Thanks very much.